Yo, what's going on, guys? We are here in Chicago for the NBA Draft Combine, and I'm joined by my legal eagle, law student friends here in the NBA Draft Northwest. Luke, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right, man. It's nice to be in Chicago. It was a long fucking drive today, but we made it. Yeah, and we're going to watch a lot of basketball at the Paul's Arena, but today we're going to be talking why the Portland Trail Blazers will be drafting Brandon Miller. Obviously, it would be awesome if Scoot Henderson. There's a possibility Scoot Henderson ends up there, and if Scoot Henderson's there, they're about to take him, buddy. Don't you agree with that? Yeah, but he's not going to end up there. Because it'd be out of the All form. the reports that we're seeing, you know what that is. That's leaks. Oh, yeah. Come on now. No. Scoot's going to number two. I think Brandon Miller, regardless if Damian Lillard stays or not, is a good fit because you're college basketball savant. You know me. I love my international professional basketball. I love NBA. But I can't stand college basketball unless it's for draft prospects. So tell me, what did you see from Brandon Miller? And you said he's a better prospect than last year's third overall pick, Jabari Smith. So how does Brandon Miller fit into a roster that is either going to be, you know, still around Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons, or could be a roster that's built around Shaden Sharp, depending on the direction so, they go. Brandon Miller, you know, he's a great prospect. I think he's better than Jabari because I think what he does that Jabari kind of struggled with is a lot of the times Jabari, a lot of Jabari's shots at Auburn, Jabari had a great team and they had a lot of options and he wasn't really asked to shoulder much of the primary scoring load. Well, Brandon Miller was that guy. For Alabama. 19 points, 9 He rebounds. averaged 19, 9, shot 38%. Oh, from three. That's an SEC play. Yeah. Oh, it was, his stats are similar for the entire oh, season. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it was like 18 and like 8.5. And oh, so, okay. like, he actually averaged a little bit more. In SEC oh, that was only oh, 19, 19, 9 was his uh, first season, but his SEC play, he averaged yeah, 20. Yeah, he was better. 49% and 38. So, his three point shooting decreased like by a few percentage points in SEC play. Defensively, what? He's a switchable guy who can probably guard. He's a switchable four. guy. He's not great. But, you know, the thing about him that he always, he, he, ha, he has the effort. He has the defensive effort. Six, he nine. tries hard. 6'9", long arms, switchable. What did the combine say he was a wingspan wise? It was like, I, I think it was either, six, I, 11, I think right? it was, I think it was seven. I think seven, it was seven. Said, I think it was seven. seven on the dot, but it might have been six. That was another thing we did on the car. I'd look at all the, the so, sizes. So, Brandon Miller, like, you know, he's a guy who, he's a great three-point shooter. He can hit shots in the mid-range. He can create for himself better than Jabari Smith could at this stage last year. Fits well next to if they keep Cam Reddish, Matisse Thybul. They still have Naz Little. I think. Yeah. Like, he fits in great with this team, regardless of whether they're a team that's building for right now with a last a, a last game playoff push. Or he fits a team well that for decides, that, though. Like, yes, he does. He fits well for that like, he right start. away. If they get he an can actual... start right away, and you know, like. Let's say they get DeAndre Aiden, they trade somehow Nurkic. Nurkic and they get DeAndre Aiden. Now you got DeAndre Aiden, Brandon Miller, and Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons. I mean, that's a lot of shooting around there. Yeah, is that a, is that a, is that like a fringe playoff team in the West? Maybe. I maybe. still think they probably need to do more. More, but like the idea right there. The idea like, right, and maybe Shaden Sharp takes a development step, developmental step. Yeah. And improves. It's, the Again. Blazers don't. They're not in a bad spot. They would have really liked to have obviously won yeah, but the lottery. It's great to get trade Rumbi. chip too. If they don't, you know, the other things they might not keep them. Maybe who can you trade with the number three pick for? A lot of people. There's a lot of players out there you can get for number three. And it's not just the number three pick. It's Brandon Miller as the number three pick. So. Brandon Miller was the best freshman in college basketball last year. Better than Jabari team. Smith. He was better than Jabari Smith. He was better than Chet Holmgren last year. He was the best freshman in college basketball this past season. And he was better than, I think, any of the freshmen that I saw last year in college basketball. The difference is Scoot and Wemby are the top two prospects. And it really just kind of sucks for Brandon Miller that he won't be the number one pick. But at the end of the day, Portland is actually a pretty good fit for him. I think he'll start right away when he goes to Portland. If he gets traded to a team that's looking to move on and give Portland a second star, he'll fit there too. Brandon Miller is the rare guy, in, at least from a freshman standpoint. I mean, not, not just the rare guy, because there are guys like that. But he is a guy who he is both going to be effective right away, and he has high upside. So it's not just like they're taking a safe floor pick. Like you're taking a guy with a high floor, but who also has a high ceiling. If the defense improves and the shot creation continues to improve even more, this could be a guy who maybe averages like 24 and seven at his best if everything pans out. At worst, I think he's a solid, maybe borderline, like maybe a 15 point per game scorer as a floor. 
the low 10 points per game score as a floor. So that's pretty good. He's a rare pick who has a low, who has a high floor and a high ceiling. And if the Blazers weren't picking at three, everybody else would be falling over themselves to get him at this spot. So, well, that's what we got for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give Luke a shout out if you did enjoy his takes. What do you think of Brandon Miller being potentially drafted by the Portland Trailblazers? Ciao.